funny. Please welcome the stage. He's one of the very funny writers for this show and an incredible stand-up. Please welcome, love it or leave it, Will Miles. Woo! Hello. Yeah. There he is. He's got the. That's a real. That's a real Coke. I got a real Coke here. Yeah. That's a real Coke. <laughs> nice. Hi, Will. How's it going? How you doing? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being back. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Always fun. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, hell yeah. Um, so we're here to talk about zingers. Let's talk right? zingers. Let's talk zingers. Uh, you're uh, now contractually obligated to pay attention to <laughs> politics. <laughs> so you know that the start of 2024 has opened a new and, in my opinion, exciting door to the more petty, vulgar, and uh, funny zinger. All yeah. right? Which is why we're going to pick the best political zinger of the year so far in a segment we're calling... Political singers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's a debate, but but Rodney Dangerfield is there, as is Jerry Seinfeld. Hey, you ever notice you can't get no respect? <laughs> this would be this would be an interesting debate. Yeah, so we're gonna rank these people. <laughs> no, I agree. Rodney Dangerfield. By the way, it's so funny to have Rodney Dangerfield. On a debate stage because Donald Trump is the Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. He yeah. was the Rodney Dangerfield of that whole primary. Except and he's like, I get nothing but respect. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason. And DeSantis needs to go back to school. What's up, everybody? No, uh, hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. And, and, and Nikki Haley goes, goes to Caddyshack, too. <laughs> but only two. Only two. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to rate these zingers on a scale. And at the end, pick the supreme zinger. The options on our scale are... Dean Phillips at an open mic. Mm. We're going to call you Donald Duck. We're going to call you Donald, du Donald Duck. <laughs> Cut from Gutfeld for time. <laughs> Bill Maher wishes. And two, pit and two pudding covered thumbs way up. Oh. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh, what does that quite mean? Is that like. <laughs> it's like a. It's Ron DeSantis. Oh. It's, you know, it's what it is. All right. <laughs> All right. First, pos first political zinger it's Jamie Raskin. Calling it like he sees it when it comes to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Is pornography allowed to be, or pornographic photos allowed to be displayed in this committee room, Mr. Chairman? It's not pornography. Okay, well, you're the expert. I'll wrote <laughs> I'm not an expert, Mr. Raskin. like it. Is pornography allowed to be displayed? I, it's not pornography? Well, you're the expert. So, what do you think? He looks, I mean... I could see her being in a stepmom video, is all I'm going to say. Okay. Is that not right to say? I don't know. She looks... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, well, here's what I'd say. Of course it's not right to say. <laughs> I think we all know that. That's obvious. That, but... that goes without saying. But um, Well, because it could mean anything, I also like it. Uh, like, he didn't necessarily mean that she was in porn. No. It, it's, if you actually break down what I, I don't know, if you break down what it means, it sounds like what he's just saying is like, you suck. Because <laughs> it's like, what do you mean she's a pornography expert? Like she studies the field? Right, yeah, yeah. Like she, oh, like, because Marjorie Taylor Greene seems like a lot of things, but like, I don't know that you'd go right to, she seems like someone consuming a lot of pornography. Right, right. Like that's not in the, her brand is terrible. Yeah. But it doesn't include that. She seems like somebody who wouldn't realize how much her husband's addicted to it. That could be. Like, I that could, could be see that. Like a, like a, a tough ask your ex-husband. Yes, right? That exactly. would have, been a, yeah, that would have yeah. really stepped it up a notch. We but I think that is history, yeah. That have felt, I think, below the belt. Yeah, I mean, if that was directed at Lauren Brobert, that would have definitely been below the belt, too, for obvious reasons. But I think she gave a handjob. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she gave a handjob. She gave a handjob. That's a porn activity. The it was theater. in public. So, and it yeah. was in public. So what do you think? During Beetlejuice. I'd I feel say like... This is, mm, Cup, this is, cup, uh, what do you think? Cup for time? But what were we gonna say? Bill Maher wishes, maybe. Bill Maher wishes. All right, Bill Maher wishes. Short, it was short. short it was and tight. It, it landed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know we were gonna hear that. <laughs> Trump flexed his nickname for Nikki Haley after New Hampshire. Writing on Truth Social, Nikki Birdbrain Haley is very bad for the Republican Party and our country. Birdbrain. What do we think about calling her Birdbrain? Birdbrain is awful. That is, and he's like. A terrible person, but he's usually pretty good at nicknames. Yeah, I'd say I, like they're not great, but they're at least something where you're like, oh, I kind of get it. Like you know, it's like yeah. racist usually, and it's like, oh, okay, you're making fun of the race. Bird brain is not. I don't get it all. I yeah. don't get it. Does anyone get it? Has anyone ever been able to like other than just like, oh, she's dumb? I get <laughs> birds' brains are small. Is it like calling? Yeah, she has a, she's got a tiny little brain. Tiny there. little bird brain. And, well, obviously, also Nikki Haley, famous. Smart. Some birds are, and that's such an important point. Exactly. 
Oh, you're saying so? What this yes. would have been like? He should he should say Nikki Haley, you're such a bird brain, but not crows who have such advanced memories yeah, yeah, yeah. that they remember the professors <laughs> even when they're wearing masks. Um, I feel like bird brain's pretty tough. I don't I don't really think it's working. Dean Phillips had an open mic. All Dean day. Phillips had an open mic. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to that man. All right, next up, Biden tag team Nikki Haley. Whoa. By- <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> you would know. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> by ending a montage of her campaign Trump critiques with the sign off, I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. Let's take a Nikki look. Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. They don't want to talk about that. I wasn't in office then. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. Well, you mean President Biden. So uh, don't put our country at risk like this. I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. Whoa. So I feel like this. So this is now the you know Biden at his at a, at a uh, campaign speech in South Carolina uh, made fun of Trump for for losing a step and getting confused between Nancy Pelosi and Nikki Haley. Now they're putting out an ads. I love a uh, Republican attacks a Republican and then a Democrat slaps on a I'm Joe Biden. I approve this message. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I, That's kind of gold. I like it. I like it. And Look it's the Republican strategy of like taking the thing that people are worried about me having and putting it on somebody else like yeah yeah like, like you know it's, biden's like kind of losing his mind too so he's like well so is trump hey 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 he <laughs> just, i mean he, he's joe biden has never he's not been losing his mind. he's never been stronger i agree Age, i agree he's a fine fucking wine that's right in december i'll call him old again but right now yes we yeah. just vote for him he's yeah <laughs> in december he's old yes until november he's wise <laughs> and don't you fucking forget it. everybody here remember he's wise he's spry wise. he's wise he remembers everything and he remembers every goddamn thing sharp as a goddamn tack he runs well yeah <laughs> He's at this fucking job 20, 20, 17, four. <laughs> I'm saying it's two pudding covered fingers. I'm going to pudding covered fingers. Fuck yeah. I'm uncomfortable saying it, but yeah, I'm going with that. <laughs> uh, uh, here's Donald Trump on Tim Scott getting engaged. He's engaged to be married. We never thought this was going to happen. What's going on? <laughs> I love it. I, I, I love it because Tim Scott is A, standing on that stage, and B, someone that is meant to be his friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he couldn't help it. Tim Scott is like, so my, my grandma believes that Gary Owen, Gary Owen's this white comedian who she won't believe is, uh, is white. She thinks he's black. Just, she's not going to stand on him being, I mean, he's obviously white. Tim Scott is like somebody who, if you tell me he's black, I'm going to deny it every time. <laughs> Tim Scott is not black. I'm sorry. He's not, I don't know him. We've never talked about him in the black community <laughs> he's, he's not one of us i don't know him at all <laughs> it's not a exactly a ding it's sort of it's not a it's not like a zinger it's just sort of like a funny it's a seinfeld observation it's like uh yeah it's like why don't they make the whole why don't they make the whole loser out of the tim scott you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> kind of a thing it's also kind of current events because you know we never saw the girlfriend so it's like he's like we never knew this would happen and then all of a sudden, there they were on the beach. I think uh, maybe cut for cut from Geltfeld for time. It's funny, it's, but you don't need it. It's in the middle. It's I, the middle. I would go on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, but like a little to the left in the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here is Biden. Uh, oh, let's do um, on Wednesday. Nikki Haley's campaign issued a poster for the company Grumpy Old Men with you guessed it. Wow, it's Biden and Trump photoshopped on the poster for uh, Grumpy Old Men. Uh, what do you think? This is top notch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. This is a good it's one. Really it's good. simple and it's to the point and it's kind of correct. So I give it a uh, the top one. Yeah, it is. It's good. Two putting, good job. Two, two, two putting, putting fingers. fingers. And let's end on this this incredible summary of Donald Trump from E. Jean Carroll after she was awarded eighty three million of his dollars. He's nothing. <laughs> he is. Without, he is like a walrus snorting <laughs> and like a rhino flopping his hand. It was, he is not there. That was the surprising thing to me. Do you, do you ever see the movie Heat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know when uh, Robert De Niro says, because uh, I'm, t- I'm talking to an empty telephone. Yeah. There's a yeah. dead guy on the other end of this phone. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Yeah. That's higher than two pudding covered. Yeah. That's the best. Out. That's the that's best. by far. That's bad. That's great. So we th- I think we're going to declare that the winner. 
Yeah, got to be the winner. Got to be the winner. Because it also she also has eighty five million dollars as a yeah, result of that joke. Right, so. and that's and and you know zing. <laughs> yeah, zing. The biggest zing is money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we've always said. The biggest zing is money. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Will Miles. <laughs> thank you, thank you. He hosts the cult classic comedy show right here in L.A. every Monday. So come check it out. Thanks Will so Miles, much. Hey. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Hey.